hello treasures welcome back to my channel i hope you all are doing great thanks for stopping by the other time i went out and i had chicken and chips so i decided that ah let me make some for us at home <laughs> so in today's video we are going to be making delicious grilled chicken and chips So I'll start by cooking my chicken. I have here some chicken laps which I have cut, cleaned and washed and also transferred into my pot. And to cook the chicken, I'll be blending some, yeah, I have some garlic, ginger and onions. I also added this parsley leaf. This is optional. Just spice or season your chicken with any seasoning of your choice. I'll go ahead, blend it, and then pour it over the chicken, which I've already transferred into the pot. I also add it about a tablespoon of fresh blended pepper, seasoning powder, chicken seasoning powder, thyme curry powder and some bay leaves I'll add little amount of salt stir and mix everything very well then cover and let it cook for about 15 to 20 minutes Our chicken is cooked and ready to be grilled. So I'll take it out from the pot and transfer to my grilling pan or baking pan. While the chicken is grilling, we'll now go ahead and prepare our potatoes for frying. I have here some Irish potatoes which I've already washed. I'll go ahead, peel and cut them into the sizes I'll be using. Just watch the way I'll cut it.
after peeling and cutting the potatoes i'll then rinse it again transfer into my pot i'm going to use boiling method first i'll boil it after boiling for a few minutes will then start frying keep watching <laughs> I'll add about a teaspoon or tablespoon of salt into my pot depending on the quantity of the potato you're cooking. Then transfer the sliced or cut potatoes into the pot, stir and then transfer to my stove. I'll let it cook there until it is almost done. Irish potatoes doesn't take time to cook. The moment it starts boiling, in the next 5-7 minutes, it is cooked. So, our potato is ready. I'll take it out and transfer into a sieve so, so that the water can drain. Is that? And also allow it to cool a bit before frying. If you don't want to use this method, you can also just, after cutting, uh, slicing the potatoes you just take it to the oil and fry but because i want it to be crunchy or crispy that's why i'm doing this so to make it crispier i'm using a tablespoon of cornstarch to sprinkle in it sprinkle on it mix and then we go ahead and fry i'm not adding any other salt here because the salt i used in cooking it is enough It's time to fry our potatoes. You fry this until it is light brown and uh, crispy when it becomes crispy you will know from the sound it will give you and it will become lighter in the oil there as you are frying it so we'll now take it out if you want it crispier then you'll fry it two times you take it out from the oil allow it to cool down again or a bit then you, you add it back to the oil and fry for about five to seven minutes again but if you are okay with the texture you will get it is still okay you leave it that way i fried mine two times because we wanted it very crispy just like the one i ate out <laughs> Our crispy fried potato is ready. I've also made the tomato sauce, which we are going to use as dip. You can use ketchup if you want to. And then our grilled chicken is also ready. All that is left tonight is to serve this and then enjoy. <laughs> Hello, treasured ladies and gentlemen. I present to you. <laughs> our chicken and cheese enjoy thank you all for watching please don't forget to like and share the video until i see you again in my next video remain blessed and safe i love you all bye bye